paragraph 214 of Laudato Si, Pope Francis wrote, quote, All Christian communities have an important role to play in ecological education. It is my hope that our seminaries and houses of formation will provide an education in responsible simplicity of life, in grateful contemplation of God's world, and in concern for the needs of the poor and the protection of the environment. Part of the work that my organization is doing is to engage seminaries, Christian, Jewish, Muslim, and others, to promote the teaching of faith and ecology within seminaries. We're doing this through a few different channels. One channel is that we hold conferences on faith and ecology for seminary deans and education to try to promote the teaching within seminaries. Second, we publish reports on this topic. We published a report about Catholic ecology courses in priestly formation. We published a second report on Holy Land seminaries and faith and ecology teaching. And we published a third report about such teaching in North American seminaries. We also have an online syllabus collection that provides over a hundred syllabi that relate to faith and ecology as taught in seminaries and graduate theological education. I meet with seminary deans to discuss the possibility of them including a new course in their seminary on faith and ecology or integrating into existing courses themes of care for our common home. In such meetings, I often hear a similar response from seminary deans, whether they're Catholic or Orthodox Christian or Orthodox Jewish or Muslim or liberal Jewish or Protestant. The response is that our process of formation is many years, ranging from four to eight years, and that the curriculum is packed. We have courses on theology, philosophy, homiletics, liturgy, pastoral counseling, Bible, other sacred texts. How is it possible that we can include something new in our curriculum? Or what do you suggest that we take out of the curriculum? I say to them, I don't know what you might take out. All I know is that this is the imperative of our time, to train clergy to speak to the ecological crisis, to be able to give sermons, to teach in religious schools about care for our common home in the context of religious teachings. Last week, Hurricane Matthew struck Haiti and the southeastern United States. Over a thousand people died. Thousands more were injured. There were billions of dollars in damage. With this scale of catastrophe that's hitting humanity, it's time for us to take this issue very seriously. I think it's ironic that this hurricane was named after the evangelist St. Matthew. It's a wake-up call and it's messaging to us that we need to connect religion to ecology in addressing the environmental crisis. Mm -hmm.